I still remember FTPing on the command line way back in the day. And this was back in the day when in order to view a graphic, you first had to uh, download it as a separate text file into your VMS account. And then potentially uh, it was UU encoded. You would UU decode it and then transfer it by the way uh, by way of FTP on, on a command line, a very a text interface, only to view it locally in an image viewer to see that the image really kind of sucked and you didn't want to download it at all and you wasted all that time. So uh, we've done an article, for those of you who are still interested in FTP, specifically in Windows 7, and to set up an FTP server, it's, it's really not that much of a challenge or as much as you might think it would be with the right software. Now, I've got a caveat, and we listed this in the article as well. Matt Ryan is the person who created the article, and he's joining me, as well as a handful of other Nomies in our uh, Mumble chat room, which you can join. Uh, when you become a registered Nomi at nomies.com. Uh, I told Matt, you know, the thing to remember about this, uh, although someone's got a, someone's got a, uh, their mic is open right now, sorry about that, and Wicket's going ape. No, you can join when you become a Nomi, Wicket. You're not a Nomi yet. He'll become one, don't worry. So the thing I told him to, to remember is security. Why do you want to set up an FTP server on your desktop machine? It is rife with security problems. And if you're opening up a port uh, to a part of your home network, uh, it could be vulnerable, more vulnerable. Why do you want to set up an FTP server? And if you do, that's fine. That's what the article is there for. But sometimes I think you got to think, why do you want to do it? And there may be a better way of going about it. But if you do decide to set up an FTP server, uh, let me just go ahead and turn it over to uh, the Nomies who again are joining us in our live Mumble chat room. Mumble is an open source client uh, that allows you to talk dynamically, high quality, low latency audio, uh, and hopefully you'll be able to hear, hear them very well. I have a different microphone for this particular uh, video. Uh, Matt, do you have anything you want to add? And, and I guess I'll throw it out to the rest of the Nomies. Please introduce yourself so they know who they're talking to because they may be joining you at some point in the near future. Hi, this is Matt Ryan, a.k.a. The Frugal Geek. And, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to, to kind of point out security has been an issue uh, with FTP, especially through IIS, which is the built-in FTP uh, server that comes with uh, most editions of Windows. However, the latest version of IIS 7.5 um, is, is actually pretty secure. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Granted, nothing is good. There's no magic bullet, but um, IIS has, has – had a lot of great improvements on the security front in the latest edition. Now, do any other Nomis have any suggestions for in terms of software, in terms of tweaks, tips, etc., in working with uh, setting up the FTP server in Windows or, I guess, any other OS, even though this article is specifically on Windows? On Mac, it's, I believe the FTP server is built into the operating system. Right, as part of, as part of IIS, which is uh, Internet Information Systems, I believe. I think that's in the latest Windows Server 2008. I'm talking about Mac, though, specifically. It's in, like, like network settings and the system preferences. It is, but not in Lion. When when they upgraded to Lion, they actually took the UI out. Uh, you can still access it, and yes, you can still host an FTP server from Mac, but it isn't in the user interface. The easiest way to do it on Windows would probably be to install the most... Uh, not Mozilla, what I'm on about. Files the file, the files that are server end of it and configure that correctly. And, um, and then actually have that running your uh, FTP. And Matt, w what did I suggest to you? FileZilla. <laughs> no, it's no. good. It's good. We, we, we geeks are of like mind. I have been using FileZilla like for years as both server hosting the FTP and actually running into it. When you're setting up an FTP use... server, make sure you have a a strong password and B, if you have the capacity to use F S FTP or a secure FTP. You know, I, I think my question to to anybody: Why would someone want to set up an FTP server on their local machine with s such better options seemingly available, like with file sharing or Dropbox? Why would you stick with the classic FTP? Um. I'll, I'll, I'll go to that one. Uh, I play in a gaming group, and we're, we're in the middle of writing a campaign, which means there's a lot of heavy files that we switch back and forth constantly. And the problem we have is not everyone can afford a Dropbox account. Not everyone you know, has an account with Amazon or, or has an account where they can 
add and remove files as they see fit. And maybe we want to bring in a collaborator that we only want to read the files, not read and write. Uh, so for, for that, FTP seems like a pretty solid solution. And it, and it has worked for us because we're a small group. You don't want to have a big server with hundreds of, of, uh, of users running out of your home. But it, it's great for small groups. And I would add to that, uh, and other people are commenting on, on YouTube here during, in the chat box, uh, going with an SFTP or secure FTP option rather than just a plain old FTP. I can't remember how I had it configured, but uh, I never used SS, uh, not SS, S, uh, FTTPS, sorry. Well, and that brings up the bigger thing, that any kind of uh, transport you have, you should be using transport layer security on top of that. And how would they... I think how would they toggle something like TLS? It, would it be contingent on the, the server? I'd assume every server uh, would have that. But having never set one up, it's always kind of been baked in in the operating systems I've uh, decided to use when I've needed to turn anything on. The option should be there within the server. Again, like you said, Chris, it, it's based on the server. It depends where it is. Um, and SFTP actually runs over SSH, so inherently it's encrypted no matter what you do. And actually, I'll, 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 I'll piggyback this, even though it's not in terms of setting up an FTP server. My favorite FTP and SFTP client uh, is uh, WinSCP. This is for Windows, and I wish there was a, a, a Mac uh, and a Linux port for it. WinSCP, W-I-N-S-C-P. It kills FileZilla in terms of FTP quality. I'll, I'll go on the back of that and say on Mac, I love CyberDuck. And even on Windows, yeah, yeah, Windows Cyberduck as well. Cyberduck is great, and I do want to throw out this tip: if you're getting Cyberduck, they do take donations. But I would recommend downloading it first directly from the website. If you get it from the App Store, it's twenty-four bucks. From the website, it's free. And my favorite, just in conjunction with this, because we're talking about security, FTP, SFTP. In conjunction with the SSH uh, uh, or a client, if you're looking for a recommendation, Putty would be my favorite one, or P-U-T-T-Y. For years, I, I called it Putty because it, it's spelled like Putty. And I guess you could say it's Putty, but it's talking about the command put, so it's Putty. Right? Makes sense? I've always felt it. Oh, at least I've always pronounced it Putty as well. Um, and I've, I also use that occasionally if I have to uh, back end into service if I can't. RDP in or get in through other RPC methods. There's, it, it, it is putty. And then on Linux, uh, Unix-based systems, it's SSH right in the command line. It's built right in. Yeah, see, I, I called it putty, and then someone corrected me. I think it was an sysadmin, and you know sysadmins know everything. Uh, I think he said, it's putty, because it's the command put. I'm a sysadmin, and it's putty, dang it. Okay, so I'm going back to calling it putty. It's official now. Anything else to add, guys? Um, I just wanted to add one thing. We do mention it in the article along with several other tips. Um, if you are on Comcast or some other uh, carrier that has a bandwidth cap, uh, you may not want to run an FTP server from your home. Uh, that may not be an option for you at all. Yes, Lord knows. Cam Hunt, you just joined uh, the chat here. Did you want to say anything? He's in here. I saw him. Hang on. Let me. I'm going to drag him up into the room. I can't. I guess I don't have admin privileges on this computer. I'm sorry, Cam. I tried to bring you in, but he just joined. That's the, the little duh -duh sound that you heard. I think it was saying that someone just jo joined the server. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody uh, in the uh, Mumble chat room. Uh, anybody else out there wants to join us in Mumble 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, what's happening in Mumble, you can hear anytime at, pardon me, live.perillo.com. It's a completely new experience if you haven't been there in a while. Uh, and they're talking about stuff like this making recommendations, answering questions that you might have in the open uh, channel that we have at, at uh, live.perillo.com, the chat room that's uh, hashtag, or not, it's not a hashtag, hash Chris or pound Chris, the Chris room that's been open uh, for years. That's open for everybody. But if you want to join us and, and talk in real time with me and the other Nomis, just become a registered Nomi at nomies.com.